Hey everyone, this is Parker from Parker Plays 95. Thanks for watching this walkthrough of Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune. Whether you just want to play through the story or you want 100% the game, this walkthrough will help you achieve your goals. Trophies are included. There's only one uh, treasure in Chapter 19. Um, this one's a little bit longer, but this, this is where it is. It's on these boxes. You gotta jump some boxes to get to other boxes. But this one with this chapter, if you've been following along, this chapter's a little bit longer than the previous chapters have been. They've been like six minutes long. <laughs> this one, this one's, you know, longer. We're getting close to the end, though. And then in the walkthrough, you know, we, we started, we ended the last chapter with almost dying, because we did a crank and it sent up some new dudes, and yeah, you know, not exactly how you want things to go down. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go through that the door that opened in chapter 18 and wow how rude dude you smacking me jeez and you want to go through the red the red door um, you don't have to fight all these dudes I was hoping there was a limit but there's, n there's not you just go you just go in I mean, it definitely helps a little bit, because then they, they won't all, you know... You know, I don't know. If you just skip them and you just come in here, shoot those two, will they all rush at you, or will they not? I don't know. I never... I didn't test it. I played it safe and just killed them when I had the chance, you know? But then you can... It'll open... Pulling that lever from this side will open that other door. Um, enemies will start to rush their way in here, so just shoot them as they come. But it'll open another door, which you have to go in and do the same thing, to open a third door, which will let you out. Yeah, be really careful here. No, no matter what difficulty you've been on, they always rush the door. And you gotta be super careful. Care careful. Super careful. I can't talk, either, apparently. It's, you know what's the creatures are freaking me out. I just can't handle it. Cannot handle it. You can see even in the way that Drake moves, he's like, ah, and that's, that's exactly how I was. The door, by the way, I'm going in weird circles to get ammo, but the door is straight across, across, across from the door, that from the, from the first little alleyway door. It's just straight, straight ahead. So you just go, you just go, and you'll get to this, this one. So then you pull it, and it opens the way out, and you don't have to do anything else. But you'll see I'll pull another level le lever, which does nothing. And I don't know why I did it, unless I don't. No, I'm a liar. I just left. Uh, huh. I remember wa pulling a third lever, which did nothing. But I'm a liar, so you just you just leave. You just get out of there. Man. Yeah. Oh, hey. Those things must have got to them. Yeah, no kidding. They must have got to him. Oof. How am I gonna get out of here? Well, you're gonna follow it, Drake. That's how you're gonna get out of here. So yeah, I I didn't know the exact way out. So um, I'm sorry. For all the clippiness. That was that was the way out, the way I just looked. I just wasn't sure. Because for some reason in my brain I thought it was the way I came in, but it's not. You closed that door, you know? Like, why would it be the same thing? It's not. It's a totally separate room. So you go, you go into this, this new room. Oh, no, skip the scene. And you watch out. <laughs> uh, see, there it is. Like I said, survivor. You kill 50 enemies. Oh, hey, look at that. You kill 50 enemies without dying, and you'll get it. Whoa, he just landed on me. Jeez. I don't know if you have to stand around and kill these dudes. You might just be able to... You might just be able to progress without worrying about it, but... Um, generally, that's not the case in this in this game. So, 
there's probably a finite number of them, and it looks like that was it. It might, I think it's, it's eight. Ow. I think it's eight, maybe. Yeah, and then you can come over and open this door. Yeah, you definitely gotta kill them all. Eight or ten. I don't I, I wasn't keeping count. I really should have kept count. I'm sorry. That's my, that's my fault. So then you go in here, and you know I wasn't sure which way to go, but it wasn't this way. I check I check every little nook and cranny. It's not the first time I've played it, but it's the first time you know I haven't I don't I don't remember the last time I played it like not this late in the game at least. All right, so then in here's another cutscene. Um. Which I skip. And then you're gonna wanna hide here and wait for these enemies. One's gonna come up and try to kill you. And then another one's gonna come up. And they're little armored, so you wanna be careful. If you're going for headshots, it takes two bullets. You know, that that all that jazz. And then there's a third dude. I found that out the hard way, just make sure before you go down the steps that you shoot this guy. And then get all the ammo and grenades and whatever you need from killing those three guys. I feel like there's a fourth one, but I don't, I don't, I don't, hmm. Yeah, there's, there's two more. So walk really slow, and then you can just, you could just fire on them and then just tear them apart but also uh, the creatures will show up and they'll lose attention in you and focus mainly on the creatures and if you want you can let them kill the creatures and then you can go because then you don't have to deal with the creatures <coughs> which I feel you know is a little bit a little bit better Alright, so we're going down. Going down. Alright, so you're gonna wanna make a left out of here. Oh. <laughs> and you're gonna watch out for that sniper. He's up there in the in the room where Elena was. Doesn't matter how you kill him, just make sure you do. Just really gotta make sure you do. Take it one enemy at a time, that's the way. That's the way I say. Takes a little bit of time, but you know, it you know it works. Not sure why I did that. Because it did nothing. So don't waste the grenade. But watch out for that for that for that guy. And then the second one. I don't get what these dudes are. Like I know what they are in you know in terms of end game, but they seem stronger than than what they are than like to not spoil it for anybody. They seem somehow stronger than what they worry, but it's but it's a you know, it's not a good thing to have. Because, you know, as you can see, you lose your mind and you get really feral. So why would... Why would it make anything that, that gets that, that stronger, you know? I don't, I just... And also, it doesn't really explain what they are. Just that, that it happens to them. Alright, so this little area ahead is a little tricky, at least for me, because there's the creature enemies and then regular enemies, and I always felt the creature enemies are way more deadly, so you can A, let the enemies kill the creature enemies, like the, the, the guys with guns kill the creatures, or you, you might even, the creatures might even kill the dudes with the guns, but I don't think they will. I think for some reason they won't 
attack the dudes with the guns. But the dudes with the guns will attack them. It's really confusing. Like, they'll attack them, but it's like Elena-style attacking where it's like, oh, one hit, and then I'll wait a really long time, and it didn't even kill you, and it's like, okay. Oh, I scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. But after you kill the dudes up there and more more creatures come, the next wave will come. The next wave of uh, gun gunmen will come, as well as the next wave of creatures. So I hung back here because I felt like it worked. It worked better for me. It just it just seems safer, you know. But, th but then you, you run into the issue of bouncing grenades and uh, ammo, running out of ammo. So, you really want to get those dudes nice and dead real fast. Like, real fast. Because then you'll end up like me, you got your pistol and you don't got much else. However, it is a pretty nice safe spot. I haven't been hit by one of them yet, so... Um, I don't think it would, you know, what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to go forward and hide behind the boxes ahead. Which, you know, you could totally do. And I, I would actually recommend it a little bit more. It'll, it'll speed things up a little bit. These boxes here, because you you got a sniper rifle and you get grenades, but but <clears throat> I do recommend saving the sniper rifle for the next set of enemies. Not the not these dudes, but the the gun enemies. I'm gonna call them gunmen. Save 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 the sniper rifle for the gunmen, because. The gunmen uh, need to be taken the fuck out. They're just—they don't know how to get up here. They're just just crawling around, really confused. Which is lucky for me that they don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's just funny. I think that's really funny that they're just like, ah, we're not sure how to climb. The stairs just run around in circles. But yeah, you get them all dead. And then with the dragon sniper, you're going to want to come around and use it to take out the next few enemies. Oh, but don't miss. Please don't miss. I missed. You don't miss. Just don't do it. Just If you can help it, don't miss. Ooh, this guy's gonna be in for a bad day. Although not anymore. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so then more of these dudes will show up. Just, just try and pistol shoot them. Or if you can get an M4. If you haven't, if you haven't used all your M4, all the M4 bullets that are around. Oh, oh damn. Okay. Oh, oh jeez there. But if you hadn't, if I hadn't wasted the first bullet, there's there's five enemies ahead that are gunmen, and if I hadn't wasted the first dragon sniper bullet, we definitely could have. I I definitely could have taken out all the dudes. So just keep in mind to try and save all your dragon sniper bullets. You know, do your best because there's a sniper up in the previous area where Elena was. And then there's another dude hiding behind these boxes. See, there's the sniper. And I know there's another dude, he just won't show up. This freaking prick, man. I'm gonna go for it. Wow. Alright, that's really clippy. Oh, well, I'm a liar anyway. There's six dudes. 
But if you go out like that, you run out there, the, the creatures are going to show up. So be extra careful about that. There's two more dudes on the ground here, and then there's also the sniper. So I was a liar anyway. So just keep keep it keep it in mind. And then if you look if you look up in the left corner, you can see the treasure twinkling every now and again. Oh. But yeah, that dude. Oh my god, that dude. Pissing me off. Yeah, and then he stopped showing up like a little punk. Be careful. No, well, don't be careful. But the waiting game here sometimes doesn't work. It's it's a it's a style of gameplay that I like to use in this in this particular. The the waiting game is a is a style of, of gameplay I like to use in the Uncharted games, especially this one so far, because it tends to work better than just barreling through when you're on these higher difficulties but right here it, it isn't really working so what you're gonna have to do and the reason i ran around like that was to try and get him to come out again but what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go forward you're gonna have to go for it and it's not generally a tactic i use in this game but every now and again you gotta just you gotta just try and then with the last dragon sniper bullet make sure you save it you're gonna be using it on that son of a bitch up there. There it is. And then you can um, just get a new gun. You know, Dragon Sniper's out of bullets. If you didn't save it, that's going to be kind of an issue for you, for getting that, that sniper. But, you know, it'll be fine. It's just... Just go across these boxes here. They set it up so that they could hide a lot more treasures, but they just, just didn't. 58 out of 60, that is a weird looking seal. Oh, it's so pretty. Like they did, that, the, 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 if, 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 if you, oh well, no, I guess you're not screwed because here's a, another sniper rifle, but you don't need it if you've already shot him. But you do need the shotgun. I picked up the shotgun for a reason. Make sure you get it. Um, what I was, I was saying, if you played Uncharted 4, the most recent one, it's so pretty. But if you look at this one, this one's pretty too. They put a lot of time and effort into these games, and I think it's it's well worth to mention how good these games look. So, okay. Um, but anyway, aside from that, you're going to go up this ladder, and then that'll be the end of this chapter. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.